Right, welcome back. It's the uh, next day after my last video. Uh, Neil's not with me today. Um, he, he only can join me in the week on a Thursday. So anyway, it's a Friday now. Uh, I've just finished work. So I've come back to this field. And anyway, I've only literally been in the field five seconds. I've dug two targets. One was a piece of copper pipe. And now here's my next target. And it's down in the hole. And it looks like a coin down here. Right, let's have a look what it is. You know you probably won't get an answer today on what it is because I'm rubbish with coins of this age. Anyway, I, I like, I do actually like identifying Romans and what have you, but uh, let's have a look, see if we can make anything out on it. Um, actually, I might, I might be able to just get some off this one. Bit of detail in it, I can see. Then again, try this side. Ah, the bust is on this side, and it's looking like it could be. Yeah, Bunhead Queen Victoria, I can see the bun there. Right, anyway, there you go. See you at the next. Right, just found this piece of lead. It's got an hole all the way through it. Uh, I don't know if it's some crude spindle whirl or something, but it's quite a weighty one. Um, or it could be just a, a weight. But uh, anyway, there you go. Looking good. Right, see you in a bit. Next find. Down here, it looks like one big coin again, and it looks thick. Right, let's see what it is. I don't know if it's a milled coin or not, I haven't looked. Right, it's a big old coin, well, it looks very crusty on that side. Uh, very crusty. Right, let's have a look at the side. No, it's a cartwheel. I can see a rim there. And I can, I've got copper there. There you go. That's the second cartwheel I've had out of here. So we know it's 17.97. Right, not very good condition, but it's still a cartwheel. Right, see you in a bit. Right, my next find, and it's a first for me. I've seen uh, Nick Hammy, and I've seen um, the coin meister find them, but I've never found one. And it's right on the surface. Look, I've just kicked, literally, that's where my foot's just kicked it away. And it's a barrel tack. So let's have a look at it. Oh dear, say so it's the first one I've ever had. But, uh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Right. Okay, very nice. Right. I know I've seen uh, I detect find the keys for these. Like it, I think it's got like a um, funny shape on the end of the key. But uh, Ari, I think you'll know what I mean. It must say the key must go into uh, that thing there. But uh, anyway, very happy with that. Right, there you go. To the next. At 12.24 here and I can see some. I don't know if it's a coin or a button. But anyway, there it is, look. Let's have a look. Looks like an half penny. Weird, isn't it? Uh, part of the coin corrodes and the other part's okay. And that's how I completely corroded. But anyway, there you go. See you in a bit. Next find is this. Right, uh, I would think that fits over the side or something like that. There's an hole all the way through. There's an hole all the way through there. So, I don't know, just some kind of bracket that suspends some at all, what have you. But, uh, Anyway, there you go, to the next. Right, next find is in this. 
just see the stem sticking up there look and there you go spoon bowl nothing special it's well rotted right there you go there you go right see you in a bit next find I can't believe I found it actually it's so tiny look at that for a button and that's so small anyway there you go but definitely a button right to the next right very happy about this I found my first bit of silver it's not a coin it's this I can tell it's silver it's probably off uh, I don't know a walking stick or something do you know the like a bevel what is it called bezel aren't they that go around the stick anyway there you go some nice patterning on that but uh, it is silver and it is old right to the next so I've uh, signal from down there I don't know if you can see it there's actually somebody on it looking to the left now is that George second I'm not too sure but it's half penny sort of size it is a copper coin but uh, Definitely can see somebody looking to the left. Right, anyway, there you go. See you in a bit. I think this field's going to be one of those fields that just keeps giving. Um, I honestly thought we'd done over this. We've, we did this when we first came, and I went really slow. And do you know what? You still miss things. Look at this. Right found a musket ball that's the second one I found on here I found one on the first uh, trip I had out here but uh, that struck some as well but there you go one musket ball dead chuff with that right to the next right I think I've got another coin let's see ya toasted again that's a penny anyway um, Oh, what's that? I think I could see some markings on it. I think that's, oh, actually, that's the date that side. But uh, I don't know if you can see that. I sure can't. But anyway, there you go to the next. Right, come down to the far corner. Um, anyway, just had a signal down here. And it is a buckle. Right, there you go. Just clipped it there, I think. But anyway, there you go, buckle. See you in a bit. Right. Just an iron signal and a non-ferrous signal. Well, the non-ferrous signal is this thing. Uh, I haven't got a clue what it is. There's some kind of iron stuck to it there. I would think, looking at it, that this is possibly an escutcheon off a lock. And that would just turn one side like that, just looking at it. I, I mean, I don't know. Don't hold me to that. But uh, I like that. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, there you go. And I'm on this side of the field, look. Right, to the next. Right, my next uh, signal is in here. Oh. Look, at there's the imprint. This is just a ring. Yeah, it is just a ring. I think what it is, these are... Um, yeah loads of people find them and I think all they are is arnish rings so you'd have probably two coming off one or something like that and that's that's all they are uh, it's just uh, it's just for an arnish I'm sure they are right there you go to the next
Right, next find. This is really difficult to find. I, I, I've been all over that and I just could not pick it up anyway. What it is, and what I think it is, this is off something like a trophy or something. It's got a very fi uh, fancy edge on it there. And it looks like it's got somebody's name that would have gone across because it's just see the last two letters. Uh, anyway, it's uh, registered as silver. So there you go, off a trophy. Right, to the next. Right, next find is a fork. Um, that's it really, that's all I can say about that. Uh, I did uh, the other week find one and uh, for a joke, I actually washed it and put it in the knife drawer. My missus went spare. I don't know why, like, because I thought it was still usable, but uh, anyway, there you go. Any comments on that? Do you think the women are too fussy or what? Yeah, you know, I'd love to hear your comments on that subject. Right, there you go, to the next. Right, any ideas on this one? I'll just give it a brush up so I can see better. Um, I found one of these yesterday. Uh, I had one ID back, someone thinks it's from the Second World War. Um, I just don't know, you know, and the, the other one I had, I had a split here like that. It looks melted in there, um, and it looks like some of it might have snapped off there. But, uh, any ideas? Bit of a weight to it. Yeah, you know, I mean, is, is it something from the war? Yeah, you know, you'll answer a question for me and for somebody else that answered uh, my comments. Right, anyway, this will be the last uh, one for the day. I'm going to do a roundup in a bit, so I'll see you at the roundup. Right, welcome to the roundup. Um, we'll start off with, the, we've got loads of buttons again. But look at this one here, so tiny. Um, unbelievably tiny. Um, right, also a uh, buckle, one of these Arnis tight rings. And I'd say I think this is an escutcheon plate. It just spins around on a door lock. But uh, very nice, I like that. And this thing here, so fact, this is the second one I found. Um, I had an ID, like I said, uh, someone said it was from Second World War, so, but they're not sure what, what it was for. But, uh, you know, I mean, any ideas? Right, uh, on the um, other side of it, we've got one barrel tap key, which I'm dead happy about that. That's really cool, that is. Right, um, we've got one musket ball. Uh, we've got two bits of silver, one there, which is a, um, off a trophy, you could just see it shaped on one side. And this here I think is off a walking stick or something like that, because uh, it's silver. And you can see it's got, uh, what what do they call that uh, shield, is it car T-Shaw or something like that, that uh, the right on. An half penny, uh, a penny can't quite tell you who they are but uh, still coins after all uh, another penny there uh, this one here uh, let's see if we can still see it I believe that this one here is George the second half penny right I can't see anything on that side but on this side you can just see his bus looking to the left so if that's not correct let me know and we've also got another cartwheel. You can just see the rim going around it, and they're all 17.97. Right. So anyway, thanks for joining me again, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, so I do these videos because people at the moment are subscribing to me, and that tells me that they're enjoying them, which gives me great pleasure in producing.